Hi, my name is Basim Khalil. I'm a consultant pediatric and neonatal surgeon at King's College Hospital in Dubai. And today I'm going to give you an overview of neonatal surgery. And what is neonatal surgery? The neonatal period in a baby's life is the first 28 days after delivery, provided the baby was born at the right time. Um, or if he was born before the right time, it's 28 days after the corrected time. And that's a very uh, tough period for the parents if their baby who has just been born needs surgery. And that's where neonatal surgery comes in. Now here at King's, we have a full team that looks after babies if they need surgery. One of those teams that is so cardinal to the success of any surgery done on these tiny babies is the neonatal intensive care unit, or the NICU. And it's so important to have uh, the neonatal intensive care unit at hand. Neonatal surgery is done as a multidisciplinary team. So there are several teams that will come in to look after the babies, the neonatologists, the neonatal surgeon, the anesthetists, those who are going to put the baby to sleep. And all these are really subspecialized, very, very subspecialized parts of the medical profession. Remember, these tiny babies are humanity's tiniest. Uh, we, and so they are very, very precious. And one can just begin to imagine uh, the anxiety of parents who just had a newborn baby and they are being told uh, your baby needs uh, to go for surgery. Depending on the condition that the baby has, it's really important to have the parents on board with us. So we take a lot of time to answer the par parents' questions. We have to answer the questions in such a way that the parents understand. So again, if you have if, you know, if you're expecting a baby that might need surgery after they're born, because a lot of times now we can predict that using during the antenatal period, during the scans that you've done had during the antenatal period, then a lot of times it might be wise speaking to your children's surgeon and the children's doctors and the neonatal intensive care unit before the baby is born so that you know what to expect. Have a tour. Come and see the way the intensive care unit is. Have a chat with the nurses who are very key to the way your baby is being cared for so that you have an idea of what to expect. Now, if unfortunately it wasn't picked up during the period uh, of, the, of, of your pregnancy and it was picked up afterwards, again, we would say to you that neonatal surgery has really advanced in the last few decades. Intensive care and anesthesia have really, really advanced. So in most cases, in most cases, we will be able to do a good job for your baby. Here in Kings, we have facilities for intensive care. We've got the neonatal surgeons. We've got the neonatal intensive care unit. We've got specialized nurses. Now, many, many people will be asking, what are some of those conditions that we would see in these children. And for instance, in preterm babies, babies that are born before the time, sometimes they get a, an inflammation, a serious inflammation of their bowel. Uh, and it's got a long name. It's called necrotizing enterocolitis or, or neck. I'm not going to give you a, a talk about NEC, but it is something that we see. And many of times we now treat them without surgery, but a few of the children may need surgery. And again, this is something in King's College Hospital here in uh, London, Dubai, that we are able to deal with. The other thing is sometimes they're born with congenital abnormalities, abnormalities uh, that you know happened during the way they were being developed uh, in the in the baby period. So, and sometimes, for instance, they are born with their anus not in the correct position, or even without an anus. And that's very frightening for the parents to say, "Oh my God, what do you mean my baby doesn't have an anus?" And we will say, "Don't worry, we can deal with that. There are ways we to deal with it, and hopefully, we can get your baby to a good uh, to a good state." Uh, the, the, there is a myriad of problems that can happen in, in babies. I've just given you some of the examples, one that happens in babies that are full term and others that uh, can happen in a preterm baby. Most important thing, parents, most important thing, make sure that the facility has the full team. Uh, it's not just about the neonatal surgeon or, or uh, the, you know, the pediatric surgeon. It's about, do we have the team that is able to deal with this? And many a times that starts from your 
uh, obstetrics, you know, the obstetricians who are monitoring your pregnancy. Where will you deliver the baby? Is the baby going to be delivered in a place that has the facilities? If you tick all those boxes, in many cases, the outcome should be, should be okay. And remember, you are part of the team. That's how it's done around here in King's College Hospital in Dubai. If you have any questions, um, just reach out to us and we'll be happy to answer your questions as honestly and transparently as possible. Thank you.